truly i want you to believe this if you keep quiet i've taught you this one of the assignments of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where your brain keeps wishing for many things that never happen let the redeemed of the lord say so if jesus died without speaking that you come back to life he would have been surprised jesus did not just resurrect because the holy ghost came to resurrect him he sent a word into his third day to wait for him there don't enter into a day that you have not spoken into hear me the bible says this is the day the lord has made And the Bible already tell you how God makes things. Genesis 1. That means there should not be anything in that day. If the Lord made the day, anything he made in Genesis 1 was good. But the Bible lets us know that Satan also stands at the corridor of every new day. And waits to be able to sow all kinds of things. This is the year to declare lord we hear that there will be sounds of mourning we hear that there will be sounds of of lack economic meltdown and all of that but in the name of jesus i create my reality the same way there was egypt and goshen i stand by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead don't be too big to speak even god spoke listen listen to me when you get up in the morning train yourself to stop this complaining and these lamentations you get up in the morning and you're already angry oh this day again you check your text messages you check your the news in nigeria and they say just to let you know that <laughs> you know what is going on naira has gone down this one has gone down and you watch and say just to let you know and somebody just calls you and said look just to let you know i lost my job you get up under that kind of climate the spirit of depression exactly what is waiting for but for someone you lay your hands on your head and say in the name of jesus i have the power to choose meaning i can reject and anything that does not line up with the word of god i reject it can i tell you this when there was famine in samaria there were two people who the famine did not affect one was the king the other was the prophet elisha did not look like he was a hungry person moving around no he came to comfort two women who were eating their children you first have to enjoy salvation to be a savior are we together now you can't help somebody who is suffering when you are like them so that god will sort your life so that you can now become a blessing to many when they are saying oh there's no rice there's no this the market food is gone all of a sudden they see a kingdom ambassador you are distributing food as if you are holding a charm on your hand and people say come oh i more than the food what is happening to you and you tell them i've been exalted there is something he did to me make up your mind that you are going to speak the word of god make up your mind don't be silent believe me you get up in the morning father thank you for this day i decree and declare i am blessed you are on a journey don't just wait you already know that there are arrows that fly by day and in our world now there are arrows that walk by day they don't even fly there are wicked people they are not just holding arrows they are the arrows themselves i know a bit about presidential or priority envoys when 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 a priority individual is about to pass a road within a reasonable vicinity around the distance there is there is an intelligent system of of gauging the safety of that place are they not ministering spirits 
listen don't feel bad that okay if something happened your loved one was kidnapped i want you to grow spiritually make up your mind lord if it will crash i won't enter but if i enter it won't crash yes sir yes sir yes sir can i tell you if jesus kept quiet over that boat he would have been surprised what would happen it's a fish that would have swallowed him like jonah and kept him at the base of it jesus did not just stand and say don't worry it's all right i'm here he said peace be still when you see storms arising your children just come it looks like they're sick you are hearing an evil report from the place of work that they are going to downsize people because it's 2022 when all that noise is around you hush them peace be still peace be still peace be still peace be still in the name of jesus marvelous light peace be still listen listen to me there are many of you who are saying apostle god has told me so many things but how will the help come how will i be able to do the things i'm doing january can become the same as last year's own if you keep quiet just because a prophetic word is before you does not mean anything will change you have to engage it with understanding hallelujah when god gave this word i took it as a personal word for myself first flogged it out with destiny before coming out here light light lord this generational poverty that will not let my family go we want to serve you but this thing is keeping us distracting us and not giving us room to serve you you want to pray you just think of money you want to fast you are thinking of money lord end this grant me rest and you begin to pray and speak i don't know what to do but start by speaking it is in speaking direction comes <laughs>